These scenes are breathtaking. So are these games. What if we tell you they were made on a computer and that you could make them to Unreal Engine 5, the amazing sequel to Unreal Engine 4. Creativity. To sum it up, Unreal Engine is a 3D scene development engine which is used by movie makers, game developers alike to create amazing virtual scenes. Now before we get started on what kind of components to choose when building a PC for Unreal Engine, every use case is different and there cannot be a one size fits all PC. We suggest getting in touch with us for a free consultation. The CPU is utilized for almost every task you can carry out in Unreal Engine all the way from building lighting to compiling the engine from the source. In the modern era of CPUs, it does doesn't really matter which brand you go for because they both perform pretty much the same. But your choice of CPU will depend on your workload. If you find yourself messing about with the items in the viewport and scene development, better single core performance helps immensely. The X series and Ryzen processors and K series Intel processors offer the fastest clock speed. Here are a few recommendations for 6 to 8 core CPUs. Prioritize clock speeds if you are opting for these core count CPUs. 8 to 12 core CPUs are also great, but don't splurge unless you have that flexibility in your budget. Now, 16 core CPUs with high clock speed will be the best value to performance CPU but do finalize on a good GPU before you consider this. High core CPUs like the Threadripper series are good options too but you probably may not need it. They have extremely high core counts ranging from 16 to 64 but due to the high core counts it takes a hit on single core form. Unless you're heavily involved in build lighting and shader recompiling you should prioritize single core performance CPUs over high core counts. Now moving on to the GPU which is responsible for displaying all the scenes you create and determines the FPS you'll get in your viewport. Do note that this will be the most cost heavy component in your build and that's not a bad thing however. A good GPU ensures silky smooth workflow with minimal lag. A more powerful GPU will also help you cut down your render times. This will help you deliver your projects faster and make room for more. Now less time, more money, it's an obvious win-win. When selecting a GPU, keep the CUDA core count and VRAM in mind. We generally recommend NVIDIA cards as they work closely with the software and release optimized drivers consistently. As you can see, the higher VRAM cards tend to perform better by default, which in that naturally arises. Should we buy a Quadro card or a GeForce card? To boil it down to a simple explanation, of GeForce cards on their own are probably sufficient. As far as performance is concerned, you probably don't need to look further. But, and that's a big but. If you're someone who cannot afford the slightest of downtimes and running pretty much a 24-7 workload, Quadro is probably a better choice. Now coming to the RAM. The RAM usually just helps to store data temporarily to feed the CPU. On one hand, 32 GB of RAM will suffice for most users and most applications. But if your CPU has a lot of cores, parallelly, you probably need to have that much RAM. Because your RAM will bottleneck the processing your CPU can be do. As for the storage, so store your data and faster drives will help. Faster data browsing, data transfers, import and boot tech. Unreal Engine project files range from 30 GB all the way up to 100 GB. That's pretty much normal. Generally speaking, a 500 GB NVMe with a 1 terabyte backup should suffice. But if you're looking for a more future proof option, 1 dB of NVMe and 2 dB of HDD should be what you're looking for. Now, the cooling solution will depend on the choice of a CPU. An easy method to select a cooler, we would check a TDP of a CPU and search for a cooler with the same or higher TDP. As far as your power supply goes, just add the TDP of your CPU and GPU and multiply that by 1.5. This magic number is the maximum power your system will probably draw. Try opting for a 100 watt higher PSU just in case you feel like you may upgrade your components in the future. And finally the case. A case doesn't contribute much to the performance. Just make sure it has enough space to house all current components and enough storage base for future hard drive. The rest is up to your preference. So if you're new to computers and find all of this a hassle, then do get in touch with us as we consult, assemble and ship custom computers all over India. You can visit any one of our stores in Hyderabad, Gurgaon or Bangalore or you could interact with us remotely through WhatsApp and Facebook, Instagram, XYZ. Our details are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Action! Action! We need to bring back Musa Pai, bro.